Hello everyone, this is Motorhomes with American Tom. I'm Tom, and this is the all new 2024 Fleetwood Discovery LXE 44S. This is a wonderful floor plan. It's been out for six years now. Um, I actually sold the very first one that came out, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look at everything outside, everything inside, go through the pros and cons. Let's get it on. Alright, so here we go. 2024 Fleetwood Discovery LXE 44S. It's a wonderful floor plan with some great features inside. Nice and open. Great for traveling either long term or on the weekends, whatever you'd like to do. So we're going to start by taking a look at some of the features you have outside. So with the Fleetwood Discovery LXE, it all starts with the foundation. Most motorhomes just have a Freightliner chassis of some sort. What you have here is the Freedom Bridge chassis. What makes the Freedom Bridge unique is that it uses I-beams instead of C-channel rails for a custom fit bridge foundation that brings the front clip and the rear clip all together. It gives added rigidity, extra strength, extra storage capacity, and the best Freightliner components that you can see. Um, let's start with the Freightliner components. So on your front axle, you have the all new VFS front suspension by Freightliner. This gives an added capacity going from 12 or 12.3 up to 12,600 pounds. They take the airbags, mount them on the outboard for better roll stability, and then you have a connection in that front axle that connects to the bridge foundation for extra rigidity. This is supposed to mimic the ride of an independent front suspension system. It's a great part of what makes this motorhome ride in an excellent way. Now, as you go towards the back, you have the 24,000 pound V-Ride axle. You know, motorhomes of the past just had a normal Freightliner rear axle, 20,000 pounds, some of them 19,000 pounds. This 24,000 pound um, axle gives extra cargo carrying capacity, but more importantly, it adds better roll stability with the additional V-shaped torsion bars that connect that pumpkin in the back there to the chassis. And then on your last axle here, you have Freightliner's steerable tag axle. So the combination of your independent front suspension system that you have up front and the steerable tag that you have in the back give you what's called Freightliner's Ultra Steer, which gives 17% better turn radius as it would compare to a typical chassis. So again, you've got the uh, upgraded suspension system, the independent suspension up front, and then that uh, Freedom Bridge chassis that gives better storage underneath. Now, the first thing you're gonna see here is this beautiful paint job on this 44-foot motorhome. Just really nice look with the blues, the grays. We like what we see here. You see that you have roof mounted um, awning systems. Um, now it's just awnings over there on the passenger side, but they have these cans over here that add to that streamlined look that you have. Let's start opening things up. So front bay right here, of course, you have your generator behind that side there. It's an 8,000 watt Cummins Onan diesel generator, but you have your windshield wiper fluid, some air hookups that are built in right there for you to fill things up. Uh, 22 and a half inch Alco all aluminum wheels. So of course, that's gonna add some stability to you. Right here, you have a fuel fill. Now there's one of these on both sides of the motorhome, so that makes it easy to fill up with your 100 gallon uh, diesel tank. Right here, you have your aqua hot. So most RVs have a propane system that has a propane, uh, maybe cooktop, propane hot water heater, maybe a propane furnace. This Aqua Hot hydronic heating system uses diesel as a fuel source, so it's very efficient. It's also more comfortable. It uses the same um, uh, the, the same air that you're. Uh, you don't have a difference in the humidity. Uh, between the air outside and the air inside so it doesn't feel as dry so it's more comfortable there it also acts as a tankless hot water system so very upgraded appliance feature for everything you have in the motorhome now these next three bays are all big pass-through bays three huge pass-throughs with tons of space this one is option to have two um, slide out trays these slide out trays will come out on both sides and then you have your third tray there. Now, something I want to point out here um, that you don't see with a lot of motorhomes is this has what's called a Citadel fiberglass um, bay system. So most RVs have a wood substrate that's built into the chassis frame and then maybe some sort of carpet or a fiberglass sheet that's on top of it. With the Citadel fiberglass system, there is no wood beneath the baseline of the coach. So it's going to be something that lasts longer. You don't have to worry about water getting in here. You can spray these things clean. 
Um, it's also just very sturdy and it's gonna last a long time. So that's an extra feature that they add here that's really nice. Now here's your wet bay. Everything is organized very clean here. You have a power electric reel, power water reel, whole house water filtration system. You got your black tank flush, outside water system, and then a really nice space underneath to work with there. Um, this RV has 105 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons for your gray tank, and then a 50 gallon sewer tank. So huge capacities. It's gonna make it easy for you to stay out and about as long as you'd like to without having to make as many pit stops. Okay, we talked about the V-Ride. We talked about your um, steerable tag axle right here. I like their logo here in the chrome. Got a good look to it. Um, in these last two bays is where you have your batteries mounted. Now I've heard a lot of folks talk about your side radiators being a bonus. I really don't think it's um, as much of a bonus as it used to be. The radiator systems you have here are great at cooling, more than enough cooling power for this RV, and it opens up this whole space. So you have all six, one, two, three, four, five, six of your house battery systems built right here, um, and then your two chassis batteries right there. That opens up a whole bay for you up front. So it's just a very good use of space that I'm a big fan of. Uh, moving around to the back, here's where you have your radiator, and then you have your hookup right here. Now this has a Cummins ISL 8.9 liter engine with 450 horsepower. That's 1150 for torque. You can tow 15,000 pounds right here and not even have to worry about it. Put that thing in cruise control. Also, you see what uh, Freightliner has right here is called Brake Sync. So that's an air assisted braking system that connects to um, any air brake system for your tow vehicle very easily. You just plug it in right there, hook up to the seven way plug, and you're good to go. Um, moving around here to the passenger side, here you have your inverter in the hydraulic reservoir for your leveling system. That's a 2000 watt pure side and wave inverter. Hooks up to your six batteries right there and allows you to run things like um, all of your outlets, your refrigerator, the TVs, right off your battery power without having to run that generator. So it's an efficiency thing that just makes a difference. A Little bit of extra storage right there. Now behind this bay, you have your, your, um, your tanks, fresh gray and black which are in that wedge block design, uh, but they utilize this space for things like your automatic transfer switch, your central vacuum system, and then the disconnect for your inverter, all very easy to use. You also have your solar charge controller right there. Um, this has 325 watts of solar, which can be upgraded to 525 watts on that same solar charge controller. That is a standard part of your technology package, so a really great upgrade to keep those batteries charged up. Moving on right here, we've got all three of those big pass-through bays on the other side. And then just above, you have your outside entertainment system. So this is a huge TV. You've got a Bose Bluetooth speaker built in right behind it that you can hook up to. This TV, of course, comes in, turns either way, so very convenient. A um, few other things to mention while we're outside. This has dual Girard awnings. So this awning in the front, that awning in the back, you've got 40 feet of awning that come out. Um, and with these Girards, they kind of come out and come down. So it gives you a really nice uh, coverage as far as in your camp area. In this last bay, that one's locked, but that's just another little storage bay. Uh, this one doesn't go all the way through because you have your um, your fuel tank right in the middle there. So while we're outside, I wanna talk about a few of the things that are up there on the roof. You've got all three of your ACs. You've got your 325 watts of solar. You've got all of your vent covers uh, that are built in on top of your vents. Um, you have a satellite system built in, WineGuard in motion, and you have your WineGuard Connect 2.0 system that can use uh, as a Wi-Fi Ranger or it can pick up its own LTE data for Wi-Fi. So a lot of great features up there. All right, let's take a look inside. So even with the slides in right here, you can see you got plenty of space. You can walk right through, not really any issue getting through here. You have access to your whole kitchen. You can get to the fridge, open up both doors. Bathroom door opens right up, so it's gonna be a great RV to travel in. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Wow, so once you get this thing opened up, you can see you've got a huge living area, a wonderful amount of space in the kitchen. I mean, this floor plan is just wide open. I'm a big fan, but before we go too much into this, I wanna show you what we got going on here in the cab. 
So this RV uses all Freightliner components, which gives you the best riding vehicle pairing with that Freedom Bridge that's even out there on the market. The first things I notice as I sit down is you've got this beautiful, nice, smart steering wheel by Freightliner. I'm gonna sit right here. Um, you also have Freightliner's OptiView Digital Dash, which gives you a great amount of information systems all built in right here. You've got tire pressure monitoring, all the consistent um, information for your chassis, like the airbag systems, the air pressure, fuel gauges, speedometer, RPM monitor. Everything's very easy to see and easy to use. Just to the right of that, you have two separate screens. Most RVs are just going to have one screen. Um, what's nice about having the two separate is that you can have your cameras um, in its own screen, meaning you can see your navigation and your cameras at the same time. It also gives you these really nice split screen options so you can see them all if you want to in different organizations. I'm a big fan of that. This big main screen here though has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in navigation, of course controls for your custom tuned radio and sound system that you have built in the RV. Everything's very nice and comfortable. Um, here you'll also see that you have um, upgraded uh, pedals. These are adjustable pedals, which is a really nice thing. You can bring them forward or back depending on where you want them to sit. Um, and then they're not the ones that are mounted on the ground pushing forward. So they're just more automotive in the experience of using them. Um, control for your park brake. AC controls built in right here. You've got controls for your dome lights that are right there. Keyless entry to unlock the doors. Parker travel radio generator controls. Auxiliary start. This is the little USB hookup so you can do your um, Apple CarPlay. Over here on the other side you have controls for your blinds. And then right here um, you have your mobile eye system. So this will display the speed limit as it reads the signs that pass you. It's a safety feature that does um, uh, it, it will uh, notice if cars in front of you, it'll display car lengths, it has a lane departure warning built into it, it's a really nice feature to have as far as safety goes. Um, right here you have your heated mirror control and adjustments for the electric mirrors, docking lights, um, and you can dump your tag axle here if you want to release the pressure to get a little bit lower. Um, and then of course your front blind and shade controls right there. Everything is really smooth and comfortable right here. I also want to mention that these seats are really uh, comfortable. Big seats, you've got a power footrest, they're power seats. Um, everything is really uh, comfortable and nice. Uh, I've got a nice little headrest right there, so I'm a big fan of that. Um, while we're right here, I want to give a big thanks to Bailey. She's helping us uh, with the video here to do today, um, helping us with the shooting. We're gonna go over the things we like and dislike together. But Bailey, uh, what do you do for a living? I sell RVs, like you. <laughs> yes, yes, Bailey's a part of our towable team here, but she can help you with anything. Um, you see the number right there on the bottom? That's Bailey's phone number. Give her a call and she would be happy to help you out. Um, so while we're right here, I wanna point out a few more things um, towards the front. Um, you have a drop down bed here. Fleetwood has a great drop down bed. You can barely even tell it's up there. It has the nice um, sound dampening um, cover there on the bottom, built in wood pieces so it looks just like the rest of the RV. Um, and it's just, uh, it comes down to about right there for a queen size bed. You also have a little bit of extra storage up here. Um, you have some components like your TV lockout, your King um, information system right there. Then on this side, um, your Vega Touch controls, Wi-Fi Ranger controller right there, and then this TV in the front. What's cool about this is when the bed comes down, it goes right under the TV. So you can use it with the bed up or with the bed down. I think that's pretty cool. Now let's get to the best part of what makes this motorhome unique and awesome, and that's the layout. The 44S has been out for I think five, six years now. Um, I think it came out originally in the, in the 18 model. Um, but it kind of changes what most RVs have for a layout with the two couches that face each other. Um, you know, if you have guests over, you kind of look at each other and one person's got the TV behind them. They kind of take the size of those two couches and put it into this one really big one. Now on either side, you've got a theater seating recliner, theater seating recliner, and then this piece pulls out and is a full bed uh, that'll sleep two adults. So, Really comfortable setup. You've got the bed in the back, of course, this that sleeps two, the bed up top sleeps two more, so you can sleep six in this big layout. And then right across from that bed, you have this um, table and chairs dinette system. So 
What I like about this one is that it's wider. Most of them are gonna be about eight inches wider on both sides. So that extra, say, 16 inches or so gives you a huge amount of space to really lean back. Um, also with the table and chairs in place of that dinette, you have all this extra space to set things down, add some additional decor and personality of your own. This will pull out and it has two additional chairs. Let me see if I can get that thing going. So with that, it's a great place to seat um, a number of people. Drawers on both sides, storage all there underneath. Now there's a little cool thing here. There's a hidden storage um, in the back. So this pops up and then you have all this hidden storage and then a safe um, built in back there. Um, it's kind of cool to have the safe in a place you don't even know it's there. So I, I always thought that was pretty. So right above this fireplace with the hidden storage behind it, you've got this huge TV. Now with this layout and how it's set up with this big, huge couch, the chairs that turn around up front, really everybody can watch the TV instead of being behind you like that. So I think that's a great piece of the feature. Now before we move on to the back, um, I'd just like to ask you to like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, anything that you ask as far as a question goes, I'm going to respond to you personally. Also, you can give me a call and I'm happy to help you out with any questions you have. You know, we love telling people about these RVs, but we sell them too. And General RV being Fleetwood's biggest um, dealer out there in the country, we do some great prices on these just because of the volume we move through. So moving forward, I want to tell you a little bit about the kitchen. The kitchen here is great. It's got tons of space. I love how they have these inlay pieces that cover your induction cooktop so it gives you that extra counter uh, space when you need it you also have this pull out here which gives you extra counter space um, also with the heritage painted wood as part of this metropolitan um, well it's the metropolitan painted wood and signature decor package that you have present here the contrast is really nice you have the lighter wood but it's not that pure white it kind of has like a gray uh, color to it and then the dark countertops with the light polished porcelain floors I think the contrast is really nice here. It feels very homey and comfortable um, Another thing I didn't really point out in the front here that I want to is that you have a ton of these big cabinets All the way across here all the way across on the other side, too. They're deep. They're all solid wood there's no press board that's wrapped or anything like that. And then you have the ozite material inside of it, which keeps things really quiet. It gives it a little bit of extra um, uh, where it holds things in place. So it's really nice how they put those together. Also, lots of nice lighting in here, so it's uh, pretty comfortable. Moving on to the kitchen here, I want to show you some of the storage you have. Big drawers there, lots of nice drawers here. Good place for a trash can, big drawer there big drawer right there you have a dishwasher built in extra space in here and then this huge sink which is farm style and it's one big open basin um, and there's also a lot of big space behind it too that backsplash is nice too that kind of shiny backsplash is part of that signature package um, and then up top a little bit more storage right there and then you have this convection microwave this is a smart microwave so you can control it in a variety of ways very cool stuff right across from that you have your french door style refrigerator tons of space there big freezer with the ice maker built into it um, you also have water on the door so it's really nice and i think they put it in a good spot where it's not really in the way um, as we move back to here you have your half bath this is a side bath, but they kind of lay it sideways, so it gives you more of a hallway here. Tons of counter space. You can see how it has an undermounted sink with a really smooth piece to it. Matching backsplash to what you have in the kitchen. Tons of storage right here. You got storage underneath. And then, uh-oh, I'm gonna do it like my friend Matt does. Sit down. Plenty of elbow room for me. I'm not a big guy, but I can tell you, it's, uh, it's a good space here. Um, you have that Tecma. Uh, which is a built-in macerator style toilet pump and then you also have controls here that you can hook up to the water pump the um let me show you right there mm -hmm. bath fan you can take the lid up and down on your vent cover that's up there it's just a really convenient space um, speaking of the tech package um, right here you have your firefly panel let me show you this stuff in 
more detail. I love the Firefly. It's my favorite style of multiplex wiring because it's so responsive and easy to use. You push the button, it takes you right to the place. Of course, on your home screen, you have your lights. It tells you what the temperature is, um, levels for your tanks, water pump, your aqua hot system, whether it's using diesel or electric, where your batteries are at, where the power is coming from. On this next page, it shows you everything about how your electric system is operating. The different lines, the power source, what is running, the generator times, um, and you have AGS built in here. So auto gen start is a great feature that allows you to only use that. Okay, 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 I gotta hold it for a little bit. There we go. Um, with the a AGS system here, you can control how your generator works. So it's great if you have pets, you can control it by temperature, where if the temperature drops or it goes up too high, turns it on, cools it off, turns off again. It's an efficiency thing that I think makes a huge difference. Um, also, you can go in and look at your solar, look at your lights, your AC systems, your floor heating. This has the heated floors in the front and the rear. Um, just very convenient and easy to use. Slide systems here, awnings for both of your Gerards and your door awning. Um, also, this will connect to the mobile app, Vega Touch Mira. You can put in your pin, reset this how you like, so nobody knows the password to this one. And um, I'm just a big fan of how this system operates. Um, also, Fleetwood has a separate control for this or, or a separate internet connection, so you can control this through Wi-Fi anywhere. So you'd be a thousand miles away and still make adjustments to your coach's uh, features, which I think is just a great addition to um, the operating style use of this motorhome. Before we go back, I want to point out this extra pantry. Every little bit counts. Although you got all this storage around here, you know, you might as well have a, a little bit more. And this glass inlay is pretty nice too, so I'm a fan of that. Now what makes the 44S really special in my opinion is the master suite. So let's come on back and take a look at this. Right here you've got a king size bed with the built-in lift on it right there. Both sides of the bed have outlets, USB chargers, and wireless charging stations. You have a control up under there too, which lets you control the whole coach from right there in bed. You don't even got to get up to turn the lights off. And then these cabinets up top go back way far. So a huge amount of storage when you need it right there. Across from the bed on the other side here, you have um, a televator that comes up. So the benefit of that is that you get the window and you get the TV when you want it. You can always put that thing down and out of the way. Lots of big drawers right here, eight of them. And then on both sides, hanging closets. There's actually the um, chairs that go with the table up front, but lots and lots of storage. Um, right behind this, as you move back to the real uh, showstopper in this RV, you have a full size closet here extra hanging space, tons of drawer space right here. These nice little pull outs that can be used for utility or really whatever you want. It's your RV, you know, and then a side by side washer dryer. This just feels like home. You know, this isn't that stackable right there in the kitchen style washer dryer system. I'm a big fan of how they made this very residential in nature. Along the back of the RV, you've got dual vanities with these nice undermounted sinks. You've got tons of storage on both sides, part of what makes this RV very residential in its use. And then you have storage up here. I mean, this is really nice. Um, and then right here, look at the size of this shower. This is all tiled and laid in. It's not some fiberglass piece, so you have better grip. I like the rock floor that they built in right there. And then of course you have the water miser built into this vehicle, so you don't waste any of that hot water your aqua hot system is putting out. And then I even like that little black tile inlay they have right there. Very nice. Tons of elbow room. Let me just step in here. I mean, this is great. Tons of space. Maybe even space for two. Um, now this is a shower or a bathroom system water closet that is separate. Very convenient to have that close off on its own. It makes this master suite in the back just fantastic. So we're a huge fan of how this is laid out. Um, let's head into the living room here. Again, any other questions you have, give me a call and we can go through there. What I'd like to talk about now are the things that we like and dislike about the motorhome. I mean, obviously the floor plan is fantastic. One of my favorite parts of it is going to be how this layout is so 
family friendly. You know, if you were considering a bunkhouse or considering something with a bigger sleeping arrangement, I think this is very conducive to that use. Um, of having a lot of people because you can have a little bit more community built into it. Um, you have tons of space in the kitchen. You got this huge area right here, all great things, wonderful master suite. So I'd say the first thing I like as a pro would be the floor plan. Um, second thing being the chassis. Freightliner system here with the Freedom Bridge and all the components Freightliner puts into it. It's a wonderful riding experience. You get the 450 engine, you get the towing capacity, you get the ultra steer, the independent front suspension, all great features um, that I'm a, a huge fan of. And I guess a third thing that I'd say I'm a big fan of is the, the separated um, water closet back there. That use, um, I have the same thing at home. It's very convenient and I'm definitely a big fan of, of what we have here. Now, Bailey, what do you think you like about this RV? Mm. I also love the floor plan. It is so open and light. Love the floor, the colors, but same with Tommy, like the big couch separate from over there, not like most motorhomes. I love it. Anything else? Anything in particular? Let's pick out something specific. I mean, I love the shower. The shower? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. Nice big counter space too. That's big actually. Yeah. So you can actually prep stuff for cooking and all of that. Love that. But overall, I love the floor plan. I also just want to point out the technology between the Firefly system, the solar that you have built into the vehicle, the ability to control it from afar, what you have in the OptiView digital dash, the mobile eye. These are some great features that I think uh, make a big difference as far as the more modern use of how an RV goes. Um, now let's talk about the things we don't like. And it might be a hard thing to figure out, but let's see what we can uh, we can come up with. Um, okay. That's a tough one. It's a little tough. Um, I would say that we not like. I sold the very first one of these, so I've always been a big fan of this, <laughs> of this layout. Um, I do think that towards the back, it does get a little tight um, when the slides are in. Um, it's nice up here, um, and, and you do have the benefit of this big couch like this, but when you are traveling, it, it is kind of nice to have the couches across, so that might be to some um, a con um, for the vehicle. Um, I'll also say that those seats for me are a little big. You know, I'm not a, a really tall guy, so it kind of sits on me funny when I'm driving the vehicle. Um, and and I, could, I could see how that could be um, kind of a con um, in a way. Um, also, uh, right here, part of this master suite, um, it, it has this step going into here. It's a little tight, even for me. Um, so I think that step, I know it's something that you have to have with the way that it's designed, chassis in the back, big engine, all that stuff, but um, I'd say that's uh, another con. Now, Bailey, you gotta think of something. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I literally was gonna say the step because there's a lot of older people that, you know what I mean? But they have to do it like that. Oh, I don't know. I love it. Okay. So all in all, I think that the Fleetwood Discovery LXC 44S is a great floor plan for folks that might be considering a longer term use or maybe they have a big group of people. Now there's so many different RVs out there because there's so many different people. This might not be the right one for you, um, but there are so many that you got plenty of options out there. If you have any questions, leave a comment, give me a call, um, email, text, whatever I can do to help out, I'm always happy to do it. Again, like, comment, subscribe, um, and uh, let's get this out there to as many people who want to uh, learn about this RV. Um, the last thing I'll go over with you here is that uh, the pricing. So this, pr this RV has an MSRP of $638,437, which we have discounted as part of MAP pricing on a 24 uh, model, which is a minimum advertised pricing at $464,995. Now we're General RV, Fleetwood's biggest dealer, and we are happy to work you out a great deal. I'll arm wrestle my bosses inside to make sure you're happy about Tempts what you got high. going on. Once again, thanks for checking out the video. Always happy to talk about the Fleetwood Discovery LXC. I've always been a big fan since we started selling them. I think I started in 2015. If there's an RV that you'd like to see a video on next, leave it in the comments, send me a text, let me know what it is. And if it's something I have in stock and it's available, I'll put it on the internet right for you. 
Uh, thanks again. Have a great day.